Look at this guys. This right here is a cicada that has just popped up from the ground. The wings are very soft. Oh. Yeah, let me see it, bud. Yeah, there it is. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Shh, it's okay. I got it. Check this, check this out, guys. This guy is very soft. He really cannot fly. His wings are not hardened at all. It's basically just a sitting duck for any kind of predator. I'm not sure exactly what would eat a uh, cicada like this, but uh, yeah. And I'm also not sure how long it's gonna take for him to reach his final form, shall we say. But yeah, he's definitely not too impressive of a specimen at the moment. Very docile and gentle. Probably just popped out of the ground and it's like, dude, what are these giant six foot creatures doing picking me up here, man? <coughs> Another one? Oh, snap. Oh, crap. Oh, snap. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Look, here's yeah. the shell. Yeah, yeah, more cicadas. Look, here's the shell that they come out of. And my son just found. <coughs> Okay, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Look, there's another one right here. There's another one right here. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I got two on me now, boys. Look at this. Oh, this guy's a little bit farther along. Oh, they're all coming out now. Oh my gosh, look at all the shells. There's so many shells on the ground. Look at all these shells. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one coming out of the shell. There's one coming out of the shell right here. Look at this. Look, he's actually emerging from the shell. Look at this. Oh, this is epic. Look at that, guys. It's cicada time. These are 17 year cicadas. And by the way, I'm not, a, I'm like 50% sure on all these facts. I don't know jack crap about cicadas, but all I know is that people are going to be getting very yeah. irritated when they start swarming. They're, oh my God. Oh, here's one. Look at this. Look at this. Here's one right there. Look, this guy's almost complete. This guy's almost complete. <laughs> my son does not like them, but he is going to be, uh, he is going to have. He's gonna have a rude awakening when these guys start buzzing. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. There's literally hundreds along of this, along this fence right here. This is crazy, dude. Things are about to get wild. As you guys saw, the cicadas have arrived. I'm out here by some lakes. We're about to fish, and it is absolutely buzzing with cicadas out here. I mean, look at this tree. They're everywhere. And joining us, you guys have not seen her in quite a while. We have KP. <laughs> KP, you excited to do a little challenge today? Absolutely. Woo! <laughs> How do you feel about these cicadas? Oh, I love them. Look They're literally them. everywhere. They literally fly up. I think they think you're a tree with that cut with that uh, sweatshirt you're wearing. Yeah, they already flew on. Uh... Oh, I think one flew in your butt. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> one flew in your butt right here. I got it here. Put them in the jar. Are right, we gonna collect a couple? Then we are gonna head down to the lakes where KP's gonna fish with live cicadas and I'm gonna fish with a cicada lure and we'll see uh, who catches the most fish. That sound is thick, man. Here we are, we are at a group of about four ponds slash lakes that are connected to each other in Maryland. <sighs> live bait versus artificial challenge. KP has collected some very nice specimens right there. Who do you think's gonna win the challenge, KP? Me. You? Uh, how should we judge it? Most fish or biggest fish? You pick. Most bass or biggest bass? Let's do biggest bass. Biggest bass wins? All right. Yeah. You're going to be fishing with this ultralight right here. You got a single hook. Let me see how you plan to rig up your cicada. Oh, let's see. I think I'm going to go through the head. Okay. And there's already one right at the top for me. I'm surprised they don't fly out right there. Uh, they're pretty stupid, actually. They can't fly up. <laughs> they they are quite stupid, I'll give you that. Alright, he's already screaming at me. Oh, oh maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I just popped his head right off. <laughs> you might need to get another one. You do I'll it? Do, yeah, I got him. Is he alive? Sort of alive. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll try him first. I don't want to waste his life. All right. Let's see how far you're able to cast on a completely weightless rig. I mean, these fish should, in theory, be dialed in on eating cicadas because that is clearly the main source of natural forage in here. Oh, your cast went backwards. <laughs> the wind's blowing towards us. 
I do see a bass in there actually. It's a little guy. Uh, let's see if you can get in there. Yeah, there's, de oh, there's definitely fish in here. Not very far. <laughs> Not very far, that's right. I think he's dead. Yeah, I think he's dead as well. You want to try a live one? Yeah. Yeah, live ones had much better natural buzzing action. Let's do a do-over. That looks like a better hook job. Oh, he's flying! Oh, this is gonna have some insane action. Maybe he'll fly out. Maybe he'll fly. Out. Maybe he'll fly out into the water for you. There's like four bass at um, at ten o'clock. <laughs> Wait, cast, how are you gonna cast him? That's just—he's flying back at you. Uh, this is actually ridiculous. Oh, bluegill's looking at it. You got him! You got him! Oh! He all the bass came up at eight seconds. This is a little trickier than we thought, huh? Way trickier. Yeah. Maybe... Yeah, I guess you gotta keep trying until you get one. I'm gonna get rigged up on my stuff. So, KP's gonna fish over there. I'm gonna be using completely artificial baits. Straight from the Amazon, we've got cicada lures, topwater bass fishing lures, hard plastic bait. I believe there's five different color patterns. Let's pull them all out without getting hooked. Yep, there's five of them. So right here, guys, we have a variety of color patterns that are supposed to imitate these cicadas. And let's go ahead and see which one is the most realistic. So here is the cicada that we're trying to imitate. Kind of has orangey translucent wings with a solid black body and it has red eyes. Which one is the most similar? This one's white. That's a no. This one's also pretty white. That's not really that close of an imitation. This one's kind of green. This one's a little closer. Then we've got this cle clear yellowish one. That's pretty close. Then we have this bright yellow one. To be honest, none of these really look that great like this cicada, but the closest one is definitely gonna be this guy right here. So that is exactly what I'm gonna tie on and try to fish. Uh, it has plastic wings, so maybe it'll have a jitterbug type action and a uh, relatively soft body, <laughs> too strong treble hook. <laughs> KP's still having trouble uh, casting out her bait. It uh, seems to be going in a circle. I'm not sure how she's going to take on this challenge. She might need to fish it underwater. That's actually a possibility. I'm going to drop mine in the water right here. Hmm. Questionable action from Amazon. Let's try it again. Good casting. Oh, oh my gosh. He, he came up and right, he came from right there and nailed it. They think it's real. They think it's real. KP's crossing me. She's sabotaging me. The action on this is actually garbage. Just to let you guys know. Let me try to reel it slow and steady. Wow. This is probably the worst lure I've ever seen that I've ever fished, period. Let me try. Okay, okay. If we fish it. Oh, I got one. Oh, the bass came up and nailed it. Third cast. What do you think, KP? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, they are clearly zoned in on these cicadas. You know what? You know what, you know what I have to tell you though? Sometimes when there's too much forage, if you pick something similar but looks slightly different, that can uh, trigger a strike. So this guy actually swiped at it. The hooks are sharp in this bait, but the action is pretty garbage. I'm going to throw this guy back in. And, and KP, uh, I will admit that live bait is extremely hard to fish. If you want to fish lures, I will let you fish a lure as well. If you if you want to switch at some point, you can fish. You can do whatever you want, but just let me know. Fish those live skids. I mean, this lure is actually working, which is crazy. I'm back in here now. I got fish looking at it. They are looking at it right now. This lure is so bad looking. It's so bad with this action. It's actually. I mean, I don't like trashing lures often, but I have to say this is the worst action I've ever seen. Period. But at least. The profile and I guess the size and profile are, and color are decent because that bass absolutely annihilated it. I cannot work the bait. It's just so bad. I can't tell you guys how bad this lure actually is. But I got, a, I got another one on. Oh, he got off. Is he on? I'm, he got me snagged on a freaking rock. He got me snagged on a rock. You got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Any bites? Nope. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of fish over there. There should be, the fish over here are probably bigger. There's probably less of them, I bet. 
If you get a bite, it'll probably be a big one. There he is. There's number three. And this time we've got a bluegill. Swiped at it, caught him in the bottom treble. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the only redeeming quality to this bait is that the hooks that they've equipped it with are pretty decent, pretty sharp. But the action on this bait is such garbage. It's such trash. Wait, watch, look at this, watch this, look. Look at the bait in the water. Look, all right, you see it floating? Oh, that actually looked okay. Whoa, 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 how do we do this? Okay, wait, that looks half decent though. It has a crawling action right there. How can I make do this while I'm in the water? Oh, okay. So it would appear that you can achieve a half decent crawling action. Maybe I just have to get the right speed. That looks pretty, that's, that looks okay. So we're gonna cast it out and just do a nice slow steady retrieve. And look, it twirls like a freaking ballerina. Let's try this again. Slow steady retrieve. All right, we have action. So the key is you have to have a couple different factors work out per, yep. You need to have your line out of the water when you're retrieving it. The line can't be dipping in the water, otherwise the bait gets all messed up. And you gotta go at a sl very slow, moderate speed. Yep, okay. I mean, if you guys can look at this, we I've actually figured this lure out. It does have, it does indeed, it is equipped with action. It is very finicky to fish though. Now that we figured that out, it's game time. We're about to destroy these ponds. Oh my goodness! He jumped out of the water for that. Did you guys see that? Go for round two right here, baby. Come back here. I saw a fish jump out of the water for that. Don't tell me you ain't gonna come back. Uh, let's try it. Oh, he's on it. We're gonna try the crawling action. Oh, he's on it again. That's two strikes. That's three. It's a sunfish. That's four. That's five. Oh, shit. This is nuts. This is nutty. It got him. Yep, that's a bass. Yep, that's a good one. It's a big one, Kayla. Kayla, it's a good one. Ooh, good fish. Good fish right here. Dude, this is the one we've been waiting for. Oh, we gotta land him. We gotta land this fish. Absolute mondo on the cicada. Hold my eye, oh, what in my eye? Woo! Ah, oh, get come on here, buddy. Oh, don't jump! Jeez, oh, it's in my eye again. Come on, oh, don't hook me. Oh, oh my god, let's go! Woo! KP, I don't know if you're gonna be winning this contest. Guys, this is close to a three pounder. We can get a weight on her before we let her go. I've never caught a bass that big. You could catch a PB today. You got the right lures. It's possible. I mean, I basically. Chunky, yeah. yeah, beautiful fish. Even probably feeding up on cicadas. <laughs> oh, he's been hooked. oh yeah, a lot of a lot of people fishing here. Yep, I'm not surprised to see this guy was actually caught very recently. Yep, it's all about covering water. I mean, this pattern is the easiest fishing pattern I've ever seen in my life. It's the middle of the day. It's 2 p.m. and I just, I am, with 30 minutes in the fishing, I've already got two bass and I got this nice, we're about to weigh her. I think it's, I think it's just under three pounds, maybe 2.75, gonna be my guess. So you guys, the comments don't get triggered. I am gonna tear the weight of the scale. See that, we're zeroed. Now we're gonna put the fish onto the clippers right here. I gave mine to Reggie, so I had to buy some new ones. And we're gonna get the official weight. KP, what do we got here? 2.55, just over two and a half. I was a little bit off, but beautiful two and a half pound bass. Ah, now I'm gonna go ahead, you want this? Give her one more pat. Good bass. And we are gonna go down here and give her a nice gentle release down the hill. Ah, get her in the water. Whoa, my gosh, she was, <laughs> she was ready to go. So what I was doing, is I'm just casting out here and pretty much in the middle and I'm just letting it sit there for three seconds then reeling it back in nice and slow and make another cast. So if you want to try to do that, you can you can go for it. Maybe you'll catch something huge. Yeah, I did have a bite. I'm going to continue fishing this lake. 
Um, I'm gonna throw the lure for a while longer, then maybe I'll mess around and try the live cicada too. Oh, we on, baby! Little cicada flipping and pitching. And we've got a little baby largemouth. I mean, this guy absolutely wanted it, but. This is not quite the size that we are looking for. These are the guys that will get you with the hooks, by the way. Extremely feisty. I mean, I'm going to show you guys this fish. This is very interesting. All right, hooks out. Oh, hold on, buddy. Look how fat this fish is. This is a young fish, and he is built like a freaking little tank. I'm trying to see if I... Yep, look at that. If you look down his gullet, that right there is a cicada's wing in his mouth. That's how he's getting so fat. See you later, little bud. Whew. Little ones that are eating cicadas, the big ones that are eating cicadas. We just gotta make a lot of cast cover water, and eventually we'll run into the pond giants, I think. Yep. Oh my gosh, it came out of the water for that. As soon as it touched the water. All right, that was, a, that was probably a one pounder. Could have been a little more than a pound. Yep, he came. Oh, it's a, it's a giant gill. This thing's a monster. Dude, everything eats these cicadas. I mean, if you guys have cicadas in your area, you better be throwing a cicada bait. He actually got the hook in his mouth. That's how big this guy is. Look at that. Look at that. That's a gill that would make Leo Shang proud right there. I mean, this guy's big enough. You can freaking lip him. And look how fat he is. He is absolutely gorged. That is nuts. Let me go and look in his gullet. Can't see anything. All right, buddy. Gonna lip, give you a little lip land release. Boop. He's got to just crush it as soon as it hits the water. It's crazy, man. I've never experienced fishing like this before. It's, it's a blast. It's crazy. And it probably won't happen again for another 17 years. So you better enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, my. He came up. He came out. He's jumping out of the water for it. All right, guys. We are going to grab the old cicada. We're switching back. I'm going to give my hand at the... Uh... Look at that. Listen to him. This guy ain't happy. I'm going to give my hand at the live cicada tactic, which is uh, apparently pretty tricky because it's hard to cast them in the water. So we're going to try hooking them through the bottom. I'm just going to hook them straight through the bottom right here. I don't really know the best way to do it, but we're just gonna do this. Got him right in the butt. Like that. You think that's gonna work? We'll see. All right. Well, KP's gonna film for me. Karen person's gonna do her job. And I'm gonna try to cast it straight out. Oh, oh. oh we're out there. Oh, we got him. We got him. We're on, baby. As soon as it touched the water. Woo, what do we got here? It's big. It's big. Big old gill. That's yeah. probably hard to uh, capture that shot. Do you think you got a shot of that? I got it. You got it? Impressive, impressive, KP. Living up to your name. Uh, there we go. I think it's peeing on me. <laughs> well, there you guys go. That is all the live bait fishing I'm going to do today. I'm going to go back to the lure and uh, I'm going to go for a five pounder. Woo! Guys, all I can say is that storms are brewing, man. And this one's gonna be a doozy. I don't know how much longer we have out here, but I'm gonna fish to the last second and try to make some magic happen for you. Woo, boy. That's some thunder right there, man. All right, I saw three bolts of lightning. As soon as I've seen 20, we're heading out. Catch one more. Oh no. You can actually see the rain. Holy crap, it's nuts. Oh, the rain's coming in, boys. Oh snap. Oh, we gotta take cover. Holy crap, that's some legit rain. All right. Uh. Woo, this is a, all right. We need to go waterproof mode ASAP, guys. Holy bejizo. It's nuts out here. 
That's next level rainstorm, dude. I could literally see the storm coming in. Well, guys, I don't think the fish are gonna be able to see my lure too well, but you know what? Maybe I can make one more cast. We got yellow, one more cast in here, man. Put my phone right up here. Peace out, guys. I'm gonna catch one goodbye fish. Check this out. Huh. Just kidding, guys. No goodbye fish. There's no way these fish can detect my cicada in this heavy rain. Actually, they, maybe they can, but it's a little bit wet and extreme for me. Ah, ah, scale up this hill. Whoa. Ah, ah. I think I think we did good today. We did a little experiment. Found out cicadas don't make the best live bait, but when the fish are on them, they make a pretty dang good uh, lure presentation. We only fish one out of the four ponds, so we will definitely come back here in the future. But for now. I'm gonna go get some food and head out. Peace.